Hello, this is Rob with Tech. Uh, this is part four of the Ubuntu series, the Ubuntu server series. Uh, this would be the last part that I have in here. So the other thing that I want to show you is uh, if you followed our part two of this series, I showed you how to create different networks. And the reason I was saying that is because if you go into Rob with Tech GitHub, uh, you, you're going to be able to find that I have uh, yaml files in here so docker compose and this is the ones i usually create or this ones were created because i use them on open media vault but once you have pertainer installed it's basically all the same thing because of the yaml file and what we can do is like i guess for now we or the examples that i'm going to use and it applies for any of these is the pyho then pyho yaml and basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy all of this. And I'm going to open up a new tab. And then here I'm going to do the IP address on my Ubuntu server. And 9443. Now this it would only work if you have Pertainer installed. So I had already installed this in my part 2. Uh, let's see if I remember my password. All right, so once you go in here and you can see we have two containers, it's like basically this one's a test and this is our pertainer. Now, if you remember on our part two, we did networks. We created a local network and we created a, a proxy network. So we're going to be using, I think in this instance for our PyHo, we are going to use the local network. So um, the way you can utilize that, so remember we copied up from my GitHub, you're going to go to containers. I mean, not containers, you're going to go to stacks add a stack and then we're going to call this apply home and then you just copy in here what do you copy from my my github now in here in the bottom you don't have to mess with the network if uh because remember basically local network is already created so it's just going to pull this is the external flag true so it's going to pull the local network from networks uh, that we created in part two um so the other thing that we have to change is just the IP address. Uh, this would be the IP address that you have on your environment. And also you would have to change the password. I don't think I have anything on that IP. I might be able to use that IP. Okay, yeah, I don't have anything there. So the other thing that we have to change that is not going to work if we run it like this is this volume. So you look at the change to compose data path. If you were to run like this, it's going to error out because it doesn't know where this is pointing to. And this is basically due to the fact that if you are using Open Media Vault, there is this parameter in here. That it's like an alias that you specified an app data folder. So in the case for this example, right? So I had already created a directory where I was going to specify or store all of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this with the correct directory. If you don't, this would be depending where you want to do your installation. So in my cases, I mounted my secondary drive on this data, created this data to, uh, mount point, and I mounted my my hard drive there, my extra hard drive. I created a data folder, and then I called, I created a Docker folder, and then I created an app data folder. And then by me running this, it's going to create the PyHole folder. And, and this part is going to, and then this one is going to create this other part, so... Another thing to do is just deploy the stack, and if there's no errors, it should just work. All right, so if we go back to dashboard containers, we have our PyHo starting. All right, so I just refreshed and now it says healthy to so access our PyHole. We're going to do the IP address that we specified, which is the one I gave it on the YAML file. And then I think it's the forward slash admin. Now the password is the one that you specified on your web GUI. And just like that, uh, we were able to create uh, from my GitHub, from the YAML file, we were able to create this PyHole. And this is just a very simple example of what you can do because I do have other examples on here. Uh, if we go back to Docker Compose, we have 
the Unify Network application. We'll have a Plex. This is the Nginx just to host websites. Nextcloud, in case you want to uh, get that installed, you can also follow the same methodology. Uh, this space is just to test hard drives. Uh, or if you want to, instead of doing Pi-hole, you want to do AdGuard, you can just go ahead and do that. It would be a, the same thing. We'll just change this part, which is the where you want to store the data. You want to change the IP address. Uh, remember the local network. If you don't know where this came from, uh, I do recommend you go check out my Ubuntu server part two video because in there, basically what happened is in Portainer networks, we created local network. We, we created it on that part too. So we created this Mac VLAN driver and then we assigned it to local network. This is just specifying the IP address that I have in my router. Now the proxy network, I haven't um, done a video about the, why the proxy network, but basically what this proxy network is, anytime that you create a Docker container, it just uh, assigns a random IP address. Um, so by this proxy network, we can assign that manually and we can put all the containers within this address space. Uh, and the reason you want to do that is like in the, once we deploy our Nginx proxy manager, I don't have a, a video of that yet. Maybe if you guys want to see that, drop it down in the comments. But basically when you create an Nginx proxy manager, you can assign the proxy manager uh, in this proxy network, and then you can give it the local network. In this case, you're able to access or proxy your all the Docker containers. But that was uh, the, all for this video, and this will be the end of this Ubuntu server series. If you all like the video, make sure you like uh, uh make sure you guys like the video, leave comment if you have questions, make sure you subscribe. For any video ideas, drop them down below. Thank you.